Hi, this is Dr. Rahul Pandya from IIT Dharwad. In today's episode, we'll take a look what is the entire publication process with the conference papers. Let's assume a researcher or a new student who begins his research journey and then wants to publish quickly. Generally, it is advisable to start with the conference articles. Let's say I am a new researcher and I work for 2-3 months and then I want to publish that in a specific conference. Therefore, I'll upload to a conference. Now the idea with the conference papers is, we go and present our initial work to the other researchers. We meet with the research community, build the network and seek their guidance, discuss the idea and then further we can fine tune our direction. Therefore, let's say what is the entire process. So we have to work, and upload the article to a specific conference that is the spe that is the particular that is the particular first step let's assume once we have uploaded the article to a conference now it goes through the review process generally two or three reviewers will be appointed to review our article once they are done with the review the conference or the committee organized or the dtpc the conference program committee will share us the reviews now let's say there could be two results. One is the rejection, one could be acceptance, or there could be some sort of revisions before they, before they could be published in the conference further. Now let's say this is one particular notification which we have received. Here you can see it says, congratulations, the specific conference has completed the review process and our paper is been accepted for the publication is been accepted for the publication. So here, this specific article has been accepted for the public publication. Now, being a new researcher, I do not know what has to be done next. Let's begin and see the entire public, uh, let's begin and see the entire process, what has to be done next. Now, firstly, what we have to do is, that would be the review comments at the end of this later. There could be three or four reviewers who have given their comments. We must revise the entire article addressing those comments. So it says that we have to revise the article addressing all the comments and after that we must strictly follow the specific template given by the particular conference. Specific formatting template given by this particular conference. In fact, this we must have followed in the beginning when we have uploaded the paper. Only thing is we have to cross check that we are entirely following the specific format and if you have missed anything, please repeat. Now once that is done, there will be a secondary requirement. Let's say here specifically the page limit is 7. Here the specifically the page limit is 7. We must stay below that page limit. It depends on the conference how much, how many, uh, and publisher how many pages they are allowing in the final camera ready article. We'll see what is the camera ready article also. Once that is done, we have to ensure that the similarity score, it must be below 20%, which means the plagiarism, which means the plagiarism must be below plagiarism index or similarity score must be below 20%. The plagiarism index, that means how much um, the text has been taken or borrowed from some other sources, right? So that is allowed below 20%. It varies publisher to publisher. Please check their guidelines and according, accordingly follow that. Now, there could be secondary guideline also that we must disclose the usage of the AI tools. We must disclose the usage of the AI tools. If you have used specific AI tools, if you have used specific AI tools, disclose that. And sometimes that AI score, it must stay let's say below 20% or below 20%, right? Below 20% or below 10%. Therefore, we have to follow that guideline also. Let's see what is next. Next is the registration. So that's up to you. You look at the guidelines, dates and register. After that, before that, um, there is one more requirement that it has to be compatible with the particular portal. So here for specifically IEEE Explorer, they provide the PDF eXpress service. We have to scan our article through that and ensure that our article is compatible on that portal, on that portal. Now, once that is done, 
it says the final version of the camera ready paper has to be uploaded before so and so date. The final version of the camera ready paper says address all the reviewers comments, prepare the manuscript as per the guidelines of the template formatting of the conference, plagiarism score should be tw below 20%. AI score if that is specifically mentioned below some sort of percentage right and everything must be followed everything must be follows followed now there is one more important step which we have to follow is called the electronic copyright since a publisher is publishing our research article we have to transfer the copyright to them we have to transfer the copyright to them now most of the portals they provide the electronic copyright transfer which can be done within the few clicks. So we have to process that and transfer the electronic, transfer the copyrights to the respective publisher through the electronic form, right? Once that is done, once that is done, they are allowed to publish our work under their copyrights and they hold the copyrights, they hold the copyrights. Now, there could be specific requirements such as let's say hyperlink removal, disable all the hyperlinks in the PDF, and um, um, check that specifically authors detail have been if they have specifically mentioned follow that right here it says author email addresses and the website URLs in the references so specifically we have to remove whatever they say so just follow whatever they say whatever they say we have to comply there is very important suggestion here is all figures and tables must be in the high resolution and they should be clearly visible right avoid avoid any kind of low quality images because it won't be readable or visible very easily for the uh, readers once it comes online that's why we have to ensure that we maintain the specific resolution and guideline right I ensure that all the references and everything is as per the given format as per the given format right and as per the given given format so that is those are the instructions given by given by the conference those are the instruction given by the conference now if you look at this at the end of the letter we can see that reviewer one has given so far all the comments which we have to address start addressing all those comments nicely similarly you go through the reviewers two comments address them reviewers two comment comments and address them and then after that you can check maybe sometimes there could be three reviewers here in this specific case there are four reviewers so reviewer three has given the comments and finally you then can go and check if there are reviewers number four right so here in this specifically um, we have four reviewers so you can go through the, those comments all the comments there are four reviewers here you can go through all the comments and you have to one by one you have to address them once you have addressed that your final version of the camera ready paper is ready. So let's see, I'll show you the final version of the camera ready paper also. So see this is, after addressing all the comments, after following the guidelines about the templates, referencing plagiarism, AI score, all the guidelines, website portals compatibility, everything has been checked and after that the final version of the paper is ready after that the final version of the paper is ready and this is called a camera ready paper right camera ready paper this is called a camera ready okay this is called a camera ready paper now see this is a final version this is a final version this is a final version and which has to be uploaded which has to be uploaded on the conference website right on the conference website once you upload momentarily your job is done the next step after that the next step is after that once you upload the next step is the first one is you have to register make the registration before the due date once you register there will be the conference dates you go and prepare the presentation Ensure that you present there without fail. Most of the conferences, they have a requirement that author has to present in order to publish that paper on their website. So that is a mandatory requirement. So ensure that you publish that. 
if you are not available, ensure that your co-author goes and present there, right? Co-author goes and present there. Once you have done the presentation, collect the certificate, right? Collect, collect your certificate. Collect your certificate, right? Collect your, collect your certificates. Ensure that the certificate is collected because this certificate is used to claim the registration fees, to claim the registration fees and put, put for the reimbursement, right? Put for the reimbursement. You have to get that fee reimbursed, so certificate is mandatory. Once this is done, once this is done, within three or four months, 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 within three to four months, that paper will come online. Within three to three to four months, once that is done, within three to four months, that paper will come online. That paper will come online. So that is the entire process for publishing in the conferences. Thank you very much for listening and your time. Keep researching and see you in the next video.